Machete kills himself. I left out a bunch of stuff, but not to the point that I can't describe this movie. The intro is Machete in Space, a funny spoof, and that didn't make all too much sense. Skip ahead to the... It, it, it was funny, uh, and funny was the only positive of this movie. Even then, um, very crude humor. Okay, now the real intro. I don't have high hopes for this movie. Both users and critics panned it. Which is why I ended up giving this movie a 2 out of 11. The lowest rating I've ever dealt on Cinematicritic.com. Anyway, the real intro throws us in, right away into the action. Fair warning, I've never seen the original Machete. I've only seen this Danny Trezzo in, in Spy Kids. Right? He was in Spy Kids? Um, now, the intro is brutal, including the death of a girl agent, Sartana, who was with Machete, a federal officer. Who was she? I honestly don't know. Maybe someone from the first movie, because as I said, I didn't see it. But it doesn't matter much now. Machete is hung, but miraculously hangs on until the president calls to order his release. So this is another Robert Rodriguez movie like Spy Kids, huh? The intro's over, and then the president of the United <laughs> States, <laughs> Mark, uh, calls him up and tells him that Marcus the Madman Mendez, ex-cartel, when he tried to defy to find them, is going to help them somehow, and his character is actually very interesting. He gets some info from mi a mixed te <laughs> a mixed Texas competitor, <laughs> and she wants sex in return, but it's revealed that she wants that she's an undercover cop. Put on your 3D glasses flashes now. <laughs> but it's not a 3D movie. There is actually a 3D sequence using the, the... That's about five seconds long. And it's using the old red-blue technology that was used in Spy Kids 3 and Shark Point Lava Girl. <laughs> it's so bad that it's funny. <laughs> He rescues a girl who turns out to be Mendez's daughter from a place where men go to be pleasured by women. Says someday, see, he, no, about acting though, do allow me to stop for a second to say that the acting was actually half decent, which is why this movie ultimately did get a one. But things are odd and confusing. Especially as she's killed by being thrown off the plane just a few hours later. With this movie has so much unnecessary blood and and gore, so we've got Mendez is with Machete now, and he switches personalities, and a bounty is put on Machete at twenty million, and there's more unnecessary killing. The next bar scene is with Machete and Mendez simply talking. Apparently, there's a good side, good side to Mendez. And whenever he's called Lo Loco, which is crazy, by a dirty cop, Mendez reverts back to the bad guy. Just how many faces does this guy have? After being caught on camera, he switches to a number three, uh, a third face. <laughs> anyway, now I'm glad I never watched the first one. This one's nuts. So now we have learned from under. Cover cop to madman to drug cartel is somehow both personalities right now. So let's kick off this. Let's kick off the spoilers after I tell you how this movie couldn't be rescued of its bad read and Machete killed it literally. It's lucky to get one star. It's lucky to get two stars rather than. In, in fact, the end. Oh yeah, the ending totally ruined the movie. And ultimately, I was ready to give it the two. The, the, I, I am. Give me a second to think about it. Nah, I don't even need a second to think about it. 
The fact is, now that I remember, and in this movie does get a 1 out of 11 rated. You heard right. The lowest rated I can possibly give. 1 out of 11. And Machete Kills gets it. You can uh, turn off the review now. Are you still here? Fine, here come the spoilers real quick. You may think I'm tightening up. I ran in, but th this was just a bad movie. Over and over, the same things with unnecessary killing and totally unnecessary sexual innuendo and influences. Anyway, spoilers. After another, there we see that it seems Mendez is just a pi isn't just bi bipolar. He's got more than one personality. He's got more than three. And then they kill Mendez. Machete is killed too. And Machete is brought back to life. An interlude of the president's insane campaign commercial. What the heck, some healing pool in a place called Voztec. He also reveals he's the other guy who can stop the machine, but he won't just yet. After Tor Voztec, he pits Machete up against the guy who killed Mendez. Except he turns out to be a clone. We learn he needs a machete to be cloned because he is the strongest. He can disarm the bomb still, but because Mendez's heart was kept alive. With four hours, Machete escapes, not wanting to be cloned, of course. He's also learned that Voss has clothes all around the world, like Mendez, ready to destroy it. Osiris must be the villain from the last movie, because Machete wants to kill him bad. Now his hand a little bit and realizes and she's been Voztec and she wants the Miss Texas crown and Voz will do that for him. Good thing that other girl agent comes along. This movie's getting better. But as I already said in the non spoiler section, it lost it in the end. It, this movie gets better by one point, but I'm sure to lose it, which it did. Yep, that weirdo changes body costumes. Machete is literally digging his own grave. That's what the uh, villain has him doing. But he hits an underground tunnel for an illegal immigrants. He follows the man of body mask, comes to a tunnel, and is shot by a small group of anti-illegal Texans. Hmm. Yeah, the countdown clock is in need of alignment with the plot, but now it's at 30 minutes. And that sounds about right, for once. Anyway, right before said battle, the final battle, the heart is destroyed, and the time is cut to 5 minutes. And the time is cut to the 5 minute countdown. More unnecessary killing, including Miss Texas shooting the other girl Machete was with. From the resistance, but she doesn't just die, she she loses an eye. Isn't this movie over yet? No, we're back to the Star Wars theme, as at the beginning of the movie. You mean this? And this is where it went back from two to one. To one. <sighs> She's wearing a mask like Darth Vader. The, the villain's wearing a mask like Darth Vader. Machete, meanwhile, has stopped the launch. And the movie ends with Machete launching into space. You're kidding, right? You're not actually thinking of making a sequel from this, are you? And this is where I said, screw that, 1 out of 11. Who made this? Remember what do you guess? I loved Spy Kids 3. 4 was okay. I loved the Spy Kids. Heck, I even, loved, I, I even thought Shark Boy and Lava Girl was decent. But you cannot honestly believe that, that you are... You accomplished anything with this movie. <laughs>